What is up fellow earthlings? Welcome back to my channel Let It Go Junk Removal and for those of you that don't know my name is Austin Lee Hires. They call me the king of junk and thank you for joining in on this special episode of my Connex. I'm actually recording in my Connex right now. This video is going to be part two of building this Connex from scratch. We've got internet, we've got power, and everything's going fantastic. So without further ado, let me go ahead and get into the shout out of the day right here. Thank you to this person for constantly watching my videos and consistently commenting down below. If you want to be shouted out on my channel, go ahead and comment down below and maybe you'll be the next one. If you guys haven't seen part one of building this shipping container, go ahead and check that out right here. It's actually going to be right here, part one of the shipping container. Click that link, watch that video, come back to this video and watch this full video because um, it is really cool to see the process and the fruits of my labor. Comment down below if you have any questions and let me know if it helps you out. I really do appreciate every single like that I get and every single comment that I get down below. We'll talk to you soon guys. Make sure to stay tuned and look out for part three. What's up fellow earthlings, Austin Hires here and we're inside my shipping container that we're turning into an office guys. Alright people, so we got some liquid nails put on this rail and what we're doing right now is screwing the door to our steel frame and then we're going to fit it into our hole over there. Wow. Oh, that bottom's bent. Or is it bent upwards? Okay. That's cool. Drilled our frame to our door and we just stuck it in place. Richard's holding it up right now. I'm gonna open the door, all right? Oh. Go ahead. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have the door tacked into place finally. After I broke the first one, <laughs> we had to go buy a whole nother door, attach it to the frame again, and uh, we had problems with the welder just now, but we got it working. We have it tacked on and we have to go take care of a few jobs right now. But look at this thing. Opens right up, swings right open. And it also closes right up. Boom! All I have to do is weld down the sides to close up all the gaps, make it airtight. Um, we already put uh, liquid nail caulking between the frame and this uh, other metal, metal frame. So basically that's going to give us our seal there. Don't have to worry about any kind of uh, air leaking out of there. So this is sweet. We got a nice four foot door finally installed. We can start putting the framing and finishing that out, getting the electric in and running that as well. So stay tuned guys to see the finished product of this container. It's gonna be freaking awesome. All right, so here's my door guys. I still have to weld it on the outside, but I welded it completely on the inside. So I just got the uh, door welded on majority of the way. I welded this whole side here and that whole side there. It's looking pretty good. The door opens and closes great. Um, I still have to finish welding the top and I have to figure something out with the bottom there to fasten it down to keep the uh, bottom of it nice and tight. You can also see that I've already run the wire through the trench that I've dug all the way to the house. See that uh, plastic cable there, that plastic casing there? That's the uh, old wire that went back there, the old 20 amp wire. And that stretch barely got me any power. So bringing 70 amps of power back there. I ran this gray tubing underneath. I connected a hose to this side. 
uh, turn the water on and basically I basically pushed the pipe through with the water, pushed the dirt out of the way all the way to the other side of the concrete here and it's coming out this side. I've got the, the power on the bottom and the internet on the top and uh, they come out this side, they're going to go all the way back to the connex there. So I have to climb in the attic now and run my internet cables, two of them, out of the attic, down the house and through the trench all the way back to the connex. Woo! It's a lot of work guys, but it's gonna be amazing. I love seeing the fruits of my labor. So if you're one of those people, smash that like button for me and continue watching the video to see the finished product. All right, we just went shopping at Lowe's and we got a bucket of goodies here. Got your good old twisties. Got some brackets to hold our tubing down. Uh, cap 5 receptacles for the computers. We've got all the uh, covers for the outlets and the uh, Cat5 receptacles. So separating it all out, kind of putting it all in order. We got the double one for our two switches and then a pop for up there. We're going to have our uh, internet coming in and we need uh, receptacles up there too. So we got two of these. Got all the receptacles. Bam, bam. Hello Earthlings, hello, look at our window we got put in, or our window frame rather, the window is somewhere over there, and all that junk, <laughs> yeah so we're welding it in, and you, as you can see, as you can see I've tacked it on all around, and we're ready to just weld it on now because we have our dimensions, everything set, and the window fits. I have to put two small blocks at the top there. As you can see, I have a, uh, two gaps in the corner, top corner, but that'll be all right. And um, yeah, so let's get to welding, guys. Hello Earthlings, don't forget to smash that like button for me. <laughs> Almost done spray painting this bad boy all chrome. Okay guys, thank you so much. That's going to be it for today's episode. Like I said, stay tuned for episode number 3, part 3 of building the shipping container. I'll show you the uh, ending results and as you can see behind me, it's finished. I've got my projection screen down. I just received my projector as I was making this video. I hooked it up and it all works. So I'm super excited about that. Don't forget to smash that like button guys. Don't forget to comment down below if you want to be shouted out in one of my videos because I give a shout out at the beginning of every single one of my videos. I appreciate you. I love you and peace out. Until next time.